Orthoswim's toolbars. Toolbars are under Customize Toolbars in ArcMap. And you can see the main ones here. Coming on further down, you have InfoSwim Output for, for looking at the output files. Edit for editing your network. Control Center for controlling domains and other things. Um, InfoSwim um, um, 2D and SFEM and Sustain are add-ons, as is Kaplan. Now, where are the tools? Well, the, the main one is the uh, control center. So if we drag this one down here, here's our control center. It tells us what scenario we're using, what's the active scenario. What are we looking at on the screen? As Scenario Explorer, it has Edit Active Scenario, Dataset Manager. All this has to do with the scenarios. Database Editor for looking at the data. Report Manager for looking at the output. Output statistics for looking at the um, statistical outputs for like a continuous simulation. Query profile plot for looking at the profile plot of the input. Query report for making queries and in, in, in either looking at the input data or the output data. Now we come down here to project preferences for which are defined your project. Output units, you can have various outputs in the model. Add-ons, is for, for using things like um, Designer, Calibrator, Swim Live, GIS Gateway, how you connect to uh, GIS data, Map Display or Themes, Reset the Display to go back to the original, Model Tracker for keeping track of your model, Make Model Notes for any changes. Then we have the Message Board, the Browser, which is over here, and then add-ons like RDI Analyst, and then NetView to um, Google Earth. What are the other main ones? Well, the other one obviously is the uh, output. The output, this is the run manager, tells you whether you're using standard or one of the other scenarios, what the time is of the output, and what the day is of the output. And here's your little uh, video controls here. The other uh, main object or main toolbar is the edit. This is where you add new ring gauges, nodes, dividers, outfalls, storage nodes, conduits, pumps, orifices, weirs, outlets. You make your own subcatchments. You do uh, di digital, digitize a network where you're basically adding a lot of features at one time. And then select element, move various objects, redraw links, edit, move subcatchments. And then here's what we come down to the core of our editing capabilities. Domain manager allows you to create a domain and then just edit the attributes of the domain and here's the things that go with that so all these guys all these things all these icons that have like a face of a man they're they're the manager so you have domain manager um, you have facility manager you have run manager you have output unit manager you have extension managers so all the all the the faces of either a woman or a man or the managers Facility Manager for uh, allowing um, different active or inactive elements and tools connected with the facility. And then Activate All, Activate Domain, Edit Selection, Edit Domain, Group Editing, Delete Node. All these toolbars work with the, with the menus and the, um, the features of InfoSwim. Okay, also at the top here we have basically ArcGIS toolbars. So these are the toolbars that um, you know, where you basically add data, you do things like HTML pop-ups. So this toolbar is ArcGIS and it tells you this is a standard ArcGIS toolbar. In addition there is the other standard ArcGIS toolbar, this thing here where you can do zooming, full extent, fixed zoom, you select elements using the map on ArcGIS. You use Identify, which uh, identifies information on the screen in HTML pop-up in ArcMap. So these are a little bit of the, of the toolbars that are associated with InfoSwim and some with, uh, with ArcMap. So they're all pretty um, understandable if you think of them together. Thank you for listening.